Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to our first live online class. This is uh, Nelly Deutsch coming to you from Toronto, Canada. And uh, welcome. So if you could just add in the chat box, uh, if everything's okay, if you're comfortable in your chair, uh, what kind of chair do you have? Where are you? Um, are you in your bedroom, in the living room, in the dining room? Um, in your library, maybe you're outside, maybe you're at a library, public place, restaurant, and what country uh, you're coming from. And you can also add, if this is the first time that you're in a live online class, such as this one. So we've got Moldova, you're at home, that's great. I hope it's warm wherever you are. And that, as I said, you're comfortable. And we've got Argentina, so we've got two parts here. We've got Europe and South America. Hello, Maria, good to see you. And Italy, 20 degree, minus 20 degrees, that sounds very cold. So uh, I'm glad you're inside. And we've got Greece. And Tom is here from... Tom, uh, and uh, Croatia, Croatia, and uh, let's see, in your living room. And uh, if you're using a mobile device, it might be a little bit different, but you're encouraged to use both uh, mobile, especially if you're having uh, problems on your desktop because of the bandwidth, I think that uh, smartphones are a lot better. So whether you're on an iPhone or Android, I've shared the links. Maybe I still have one here. Let's see what I have on my mouse. Uh, nope, I don't. All right. Okay, so are there any questions before we get started about uh, teaching EFL to young learners? Maria, we're also very happy that you're here with us. Uh, this is uh, being recorded and will appear on YouTube. And um, you can also view the recording straight from the W, the same W that brought you here. I've also added the PowerPoint presentation and we'll be adding all the PowerPoint presentations to a folder. You'll find that under uh, online, live online classes. And I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, we'll also be adding the chat. You can copy the chat at the end so that if there are any links in the chat box, you'll be able to uh, access them. Let's see if there are any um, of the moderators here. As you can see, um, the moderators are from, and if I go from left to right, that's me on the left. And we've got Nevis Teresi coming to us from Australia. I'm going to make this session earlier next week, uh, about two hours earlier, so that uh, Nevis can join us. It'll be uh, less of a problem since it's uh, two o'clock a.m. in Australia right now. And then we've got Charles Goodger uh, living in Italy, originally from the UK, and uh, Julie Pratton, currently in the UK, originally from the UK, but also living in Turkey. And we've got Susan, oh, I made a mistake in her name. I'm so sorry. It's Brodar. The O got uh, mixed up here. The O should be after the R. So I apologize, Susan. And um, Susan's coming to us from Italy. She was born in the UK. So I don't see any questions. Feel free to use the chat box to ask questions. I'm going to move things around on my computer so I can uh, see better. I can make, you can do the same thing by the way. You can make the chat box uh, slightly larger by moving it out of its place. Just uh, put your mouse over the gray area black grayish area and then just move it to the left with your mouse or your finger if you're on a mobile device and uh, then you can open it up like you would an image uh, from the top 
from the bottom, from the sides, so that it's a lot larger. That's what I usually do to make sure that I see everybody's uh, comments. All right, this session is going to be fairly short. Uh, it's just an introduction. I've added a video in week one so that uh, you can follow and see uh, basically everything that I'm going to be discussing today. Uh, I see Nevis was here and then she got logged out. All right, so um, are you ready? Just let me know in the chat box if you're ready um, for a little bit of explanation as to where we are and where we're going. Just let me know in the chat box. You can use a smiley and say yes. Um, there's a smiley on the right. If you click on it, you'll see a variety of smileys, thumbs up, thumbs down. Feel free to use them as we go. That's right. Have fun. That's what it's all about, right? Um, especially in the um, young learners uh, class. That's where we usually have a lot of fun. And I think that's what's exciting about uh, teaching uh, EFL to young learners. The layout of um, the weeks are the following, and they're not according to alphabetical order. So, uh, I mean, they're not according to the weeks. And um, next week, we're going to start storytelling. In um, that's week two. In week three, we'll have uh, board games with uh, Nevis Teresi. She'll be uh, organizing that, and she'll be giving the live online session. Uh, the storytelling is with me. I'll be doing that next week as well. And then in week three, um, no, that's week four, we'll be doing um, action songs with Charles Goodger. He's going to be leading that and giving a live online session. Uh, Charles is an uh, EFL teacher. Everyone's an EFL teacher, but Charles is also a musician, composer, and uh, he's probably going to play his guitar He's involved in fun songs, so we'll have action songs and hopefully a lot of dancing in your homes. So you can bring your children um, to the uh, session in week four. Week five, we've got Julie Pratton, uh, Kazmaz, uh, from, uh, originally from the UK, but um, living in Turkey. She's going to talk about uh, the low-resource classroom and how we can get different um, material from home and get our students to also create content in very easy ways. So those are the uh, four uh, sessions that we'll be having, and you'll also get badges. <laughs> we'll be talking about the badges. So this is the layout. This is what it looks like. I just want to make sure in the chat box, if you could just add... Uh, did you come from the um, Teaching EFL to Young Learners Evo 17 Moodle? I don't know if you know that it's a Moodle, but Moodle for Teachers website. Okay, if you could just let me know by giving me a thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> All right, so I just want to know who, oh, Tom hasn't. So Tom, let me know who you are <laughs> so I can better understand uh, what's going on. All right, so if you have come from the Moodle, can you add the link to the uh, Moodle uh, for teachers, uh, teaching FL to young learners uh, link for Tom and for um, Gispina? so that uh, they'll be able to, um, I see most of you have, and Maria. So I see some people have not come from the uh, Moodle. Okay, so uh, they need the link so that they can uh, enroll. If anyone has that handy, if not, I will find it. I just don't want to move from my computer because I'm recording this. So if you could add it, that would be amazing. And it would give you a chance to also share the link with your colleagues and friends so they can join us as well. Okay, I saw the links. Excellent. Let me just make sure. So there are the links. I don't see who's added them. So let me uh, see if I can make this even bigger. All right, so you're welcome to join us. 
There. Ah, I see a few links. I see. Oh, excellent. The two links are perfect. One is to the WizIQ uh, class to this session. Thank you, Lydia. And the other one is to, um, that's by Nevis, to the Evo session. So thank you to both of you. Oh, it's Tom. It's Tom. You came from Facebook. Okay. Good to have you here, Tom, as well. I'm glad you made it. All right. So the layout. This is what it looks like um, on the Moodle platform. Notice um, I've got a, I don't know, I can't choose a color for my pointer, so it seems to be blue. Hope you can see it. So these are the sections. They're topic sections. So you can go into them by clicking on them. Right now you can see that it's white, so I'm in the overview. Uh, you go into about the moderators to learn about the moderators, the weekly badges, the weekly webinars. This is where you should be coming from to these live sessions. And then you see week one, getting acquainted. That's where uh, we'll be talking about that in a minute. And then the free tools. Now, this is really important because these are tools to create video tutorials. And you'll be creating them uh, throughout the uh, Evo session. Week two, that's where I'll be coming in with storytelling. Week three, uh, Nevis is going to be coming in with board games. Week four, action songs with Charles Goodger. And week five with Julie Pratton, Kazmaz. And week five uh, is the showcase. And you'll be adding your work, the video tutorials that you created in the showcase on Padlet. So you can take a look at all of these. They're not hidden. And then, of course, the feedback in order to get your certificate. And there are two certificates, not just one. One certificate, and I'll be showing them to you, is from Evo, and the other one is from this particular session. So the navigation, if you go to the left, remember left, and you'll be able to see this PowerPoint presentation in uh, the Evo session, you'll notice that there is a minimize and an arrow pointing to the left. So if you click on the arrow pointing to the left, you'll be able to dock the whole navigation so you won't see it. Some people don't like to see things on the left and the right of the Moodle course. They prefer the middle. So you can get rid of that and bring it back anytime, or you can minimize it for easier uh, viewing and less distractions. Notice what's in the navigation bar. You've got your badges and other information that you can take a look at. But once you know what's there, you can dock it. That means click on the arrow at the top there, and it'll go to the left. In addition, you'll find on the left side, notice if I go back here, that's the middle. And then we've got things on the left and on the right. So on the left, you have the navigation bar. I think most of you found the comment uh, box or block, as it's called on Moodle. And that's where you can uh, also communicate, ask questions. If you don't um, find anywhere else, that's the best place to go. Activities, and you'll notice there are three. There are forums that look like this. And there are resources that look like this. And of course, there's a folder that will be added under activities. And there are the WizIQ classes. You'll also find the WizIQ classes on the right. And uh, that's something else. All right, so let's take a look at the video tutorials that you'll be using. Now, these video tutorials are great for the classroom. If you've got, and let me ask in the chat box, how many of you have a whiteboard in your classroom where you can uh, share? on a screen. If you could just let me know, thumbs up, thumbs down, yes, no. If you do, you're able to share PowerPoint presentations with your students. You can also share YouTube videos in the classroom. Some um, EFL classes have one computer, which is really nice. So you can also have your students sit around and take a look at um, the screen so we'll discuss uh, the different, I see that uh, Lilia has. Okay, so one thumb is up. All right, so uh, if you do, 
you might want to get your students to also use um, these tutorials, okay, these uh, authoring tools for videos. So it's called Screencast-O-Matic. It's completely free. You can download it on your system, and I highly recommend it so that you have it on your computer, and you can always use it whenever you need to create a video. Now, the videos that I'm talking about are just videos that capture the screen. So you don't have to worry about getting your face in there. I remember one class that I gave to teachers, a face-to-face -face class, and they said, I'm embarrassed. I don't want people to see me. Well, that's not that kind of video. All they'll hear is your voice, and they'll see the screen. So it's a capturing the screen and speaking video. And in week one, you'll be creating a video capturing how you view the editor and Poodle on Moodle. If you don't want to use your voice or you don't have a microphone to work with, you'll be able to capture the screen by getting a PowerPoint presentation. You'll be able to get the PowerPoint Add the slides, and to each slide, you'll add notes, spoken notes, the way you want it spoken. And this is something that uh, generally teachers love. It's called slide speech, but you have to add words to the notes so that a computer will speak them. You just upload it to slide speech, and there's a video uh, under video tutorials in the tab. Let me go back to the tab to show you where it is in case uh, you missed it. So here it is. This is the center of the course where there are tabs or sections, topic sections. Under uh, free tools to create video tutorials, you'll find these tutorials. So that's where it is. Let me go back to um, slide speech. So that's slide speech. It's really exciting, and I know that you'll love it. You can try both and see which one is faster for you. There's support everywhere. I mentioned the uh, comment box where many of you have added your comments, but there's also a support forum. Remember, the blue and green is a support discussion forum. Uh, there's one for week one, there's for week two, for week three, for week four and five, but also for the other uh, sections, such as support for video tutorials. So if you're trying to use the video tutorials and you're having problems, you just go into support and ask your question. The more questions, the better, because we all love questions as teachers. We love it when our students ask questions. And... Um, that's how we feel about it, too. The moderators love it when you ask questions because it gives us a chance to share what we know. And if someone asks a question, feel free to respond because it'll make you feel good as well to be able to answer the other participants. Uh, these um, Evo sessions are very collaborative, which means that we learn together, everyone, as we go. These are the badges. There are six badges, and once you get the six badges, you will get two certificates. The criteria for the badges are available um, under badges that I showed you before. Let me take you back there and show you where. I showed you uh, the area where you will find information about the badges, and that's here under navigation. The navigation bar is on the left of the page. In other words, left of the previous page, left of here, okay, on the left. There's information on the left and there's information on the right. So the information on the left, you'll find navigation, it'll say navigation, and then you'll see badges. If you open the folder under badges by clicking on it, you'll see the various badges and the criteria. It'll say course badges. Are there any questions so far? I see thumbs down. That's for something. 
but are there questions? Let me add a uh, question mark here. Uh, questions under the question mark. Are there questions? Any question is a good question. Don't feel at any time that you're supposed to know something because you're not. So ask questions. The question mark on the Moodle will also help you. There are questions everywhere. And if you're wondering what are all these questions, if you hover your mouse over it, you'll see the name of the feature. And if you click on the question mark, you'll get an explanation. Uh, yes, Lilia, uh, how many hours? We'll discuss that. That's a possibility. I sometimes add it. I know that um, what I wrote is uh, 10 hours a week. So if we uh, multiply that by 5, it would probably be 50 hours. I hope that uh, works for you. Also make sure, I'm glad you mentioned hours, make sure that your name is what you want it to be to appear on the certificate. So uh, if you've got a name with, I don't know, five words, I mean some names are really long, so make sure that you have your official name. How do you change your name? Well that's what you're going to do in week one, you're going to work on your profile. So uh, feel free to go to the top right. I have videos on how to um, update your profile, how to complete your profile, and I'll be sharing that with you if you need it. So this is the certificate. This is one certificate. It's got the uh, moderator's names, as you notice, and mine is down here, so I didn't add it again, otherwise it would... Uh, go over the page. So I kept it like that. I hope that's okay. And the other one is this one. This is the EVO Official Certificate of Participation. So you'll get that as well. You notice my name is here and the name of the session is there as well. Are there any questions? If not, we're going to go into uh, the Moodle area so that you can um, go over each of the tasks for week one and let me know if there are any questions. So are there any questions so far? Let me know in the chat box. I see somebody would like the sun. Uh, Maria, is the sun shining? or it's so cold you'd love to be able to wear your sunglasses. Any questions? Okay, I don't see any question marks. Uh, if you have a question, put it badges. Okay, I see Pro Nevis has probably answered most of the questions. Uh, did I see Leticia? No. All right, I don't see any questions. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're going to go into the uh, Moodle site. Uh, Nevis is going to help out. So Nevis, I'm going to, if, I don't know, you, you probably, it's, it's too late for you. Um, no, I don't want you to do anything. Um, I just would like you to uh, go into, anybody else here that can help? Tom is also here. All right, what I'd like you to do is to go into the live online I mean, into the uh, Evo session. So let me get the link again for you. And we're going to go into week one to make sure that everything is clear. All right. So uh, week one is this link. It's You'll see it says section four at the end. All right. So uh, here we go. There we are. There's the link. So you should all be able to go in there. Just let me know um, if you're able to go in or if you're having questions. <laughs> all right, that's okay, Nevis. <laughs> all 
I don't know what you mean uh, by M-I-U-R, uh, Letizia. You'll have to ask that in the support. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so is everybody in there? All right. Let me put that again. There's the link again. Click on it and uh, give me thumbs up if you're in. I don't know if you can do that, but you can. You go from one browser window to another. It's possible. I mean, I'm doing it. So, um, okay. If anybody's not, um, here's the link again. I'll keep adding it to make sure everybody's in there. All right. So, since this is being recorded, I'll be able to take you through it so you'll be able to see. There's also a video there that I think is uh, quite clear, but nonetheless, I just want to make sure that you're okay right now while we're doing this live. All right, so here we are in week one. So uh, what you're going to do is, uh, first of all, the introductions, and you've and most of you have gone into the introductions. So there's the link to the introduction. I'll add it in the chat. There we go. That's the introduction. Notice it has a number. Isn't that amazing? Everything on Moodle is actually uh, in the browser window, so you can grab the link from your browser window. And there's the reading material where uh, today's PowerPoint is in, and then there's activities in the EFL classroom. Lots of discussions which are pretty clear. Oh, Nevis is adding them. Okay, Nevis. I don't know. I thought you were tired. Okay. All right. Maybe that'll keep you awake. It does keep awake if, you know, doing something. And then you've got challenges in teaching EFL to young learners. You respond to that. Now notice there are two boxes here. There's a solid box that you can tick off and there is a open dotted, a dotted box that the system will tick for you once you do the uh, task. And the task is to respond and then to respond to one other person. And then, of course, there's the support at the end. Now, notice the activity that says Activity 1. Okay, now, Activity 1 is where you start your screencast and where you create a video. So there's the link to the Activity 1. I just added it, 12407. For that activity, you're going to use Screencast-O-Matic. So you need to watch the video and once you watch the video, you'll get the hang of it. You simply go into the Activity 1, Editor and Poodle, click on it, and then it says you will be documenting your work by creating video tutorials using the tools available in the Video Tutorial Toolbox section, which is where you will find the slide speech and screencast-o-matic. What you're going to do is you're going to look for Poodle. Now, where do you find Poodle? You're going to click on Add a New Discussion Topic, Add to the Subject Line, and I'm going to add Poodle, and then you're going to open the editor into four into three, sorry. It might be in one, but you should have three rows. And then you're going to look for a microphone on the right in the center. You'll find the center row on the right. You'll find a recorder. It says record MP3. It also says record video. So you're going to click on it and record your voice. But while you're doing all of this, you're going to be sharing your screen and explaining what you're doing. That's it. You can play around with it a few times. Of course, ask questions. When you're finished, you're going to upload it to YouTube or Vimeo, and then you're going to share the link with us in the message area. Now, that may seem like a lot of work, 
but we've been doing this for a number of years and everybody gets the hang of it. So feel free to ask questions because that's how you're going to manage. The more questions you ask, the easier it's going to be for you because everybody is at a different level when it comes to uh, learning online. And it's important that you realize that your question may help somebody else, not just you. So questions are very, very important in learning online and specifically in working with others the way we do in these EVO sessions. So that's it. Um, we're going to end the session. Next session uh, will probably be a bit longer. This one was short because I created a video to help you out. Let me share the video with you to make things a bit easier. The video will take you through everything and will explain each of the activities. So let me get the um, hello video. and welcome the videos to are on YouTube. So if you have problems with uh, YouTube videos, let me know and we'll add them to Vimeo. Okay, because not every bit, I know some countries have banned, like China, um, have banned YouTube. I think Turkey may have banned it as well, I'm not sure. Um, so it could be problematic. So let me share the uh, video with you. There's the video, I've just added it. Uh, it's also uh, there. So you can watch the uh, video. And uh, I think, Nevis, you created the Plotagon, right? There should be a Plotagon as well. Um, and I'll be adding um, more videos as we go, according to your questions. All right. So are we ready to get back and continue with uh, the activities so that you can get your badge? Once you finish all the activities, you'll be rewarded with a badge, a badge for the week. And once you, as I said, once you accumulate six badges, you get your final certificate, two certificates for the price of one. So let's see. Um, right now, you won't be work, working with Plotagon. Plotagon is not for week one. In week one, you're just going to be working with screencast omatic omatic which is very very important for online work so let me add the link to screencast omatic and you're going to be working with slide speech if you prefer okay it's up to you there there's screencast omatic and um, Slide speech is, uh, let's see if I can get slide speech in here. Slidespeech.com. Uh, let's see. I think I made a mistake. There we go. There's slide speech. That should be fine. Let's see. Virtual classroom app does not allow me to listen to you and go. Oh, I see. Yes. I'm sorry about that, Sarah. Yes, that is true. Yes. Thank you for pointing that out. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's true. You're right. Um, it's not possible. All right. So, Sarah, you'll um, go into the support, and if you have any questions, feel free to, um, to ask. I know the audio is better, but, yeah, it's hard to work um, online and also listen to... Um, mobile devices. It's almost impossible. But there is a mobile, by the way. Um, there is a Moodle mobile that you should know about. You can use Mo Moodle on your mobile devices. And um, I can, let me share the uh, links with you. If you're using Android, uh, you can download. And then you go in uh, by adding 
the website. There's a uh, Moodle mobile for uh, the Android. And those of you that are using your uh, iPhones, like I am, I use it quite a bit, <clears throat> especially when I'm not in the house, um, which is quite often these days. Um, I'm not at home a lot, even though it seems like I am, but I'm actually on my uh, mobile device, and that's where I do the work, on Moodle, on the mobile. So there it is. Oh, you have the Moodle. Excellent. All right, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, while you're working the, the support. Even if you ask your question and you think, oh, I asked it in the wrong place, don't worry about it. I can move your um, discussions around, so that's not a problem. All right, so thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm sorry that it was short today, but um, there are so many sessions on the first day um, and uh, they need my support, so I'm going to be going to CLIL. You can join us there, and I'll be going to other sessions as well. So, see you on the Moodle, and thank you for joining us. Bye for now. This was recorded and will be available.